Judy from Witch Peace Craft, welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the socks. The socks. Yes, I made a pair of socks. Only the third pair I have ever knitted. So, shall we get started? And I'll explain about the socks. I joined the sock make along that my yarny corner, Stitches and Jacks, and Crafty Craig, Crafty Craig Creations came up with. It was Euro. Ukraine and Great Britain Eurovision Sock Along. Now those who follow me for a while will know I am a Eurovision tragic. I know all about it. I get it all caught up in it. I know it's not really on the up and up sometimes, but I can't help myself. I love Eurovision. Australia's entry this year, I wasn't overly impressed before I saw them on stage, but they did impress me and they finished ninth, which is apparently a bit of a trend for Australia. I'll put a link to the um, song in the description below because mainly when you check out the lead singer, he's actually an immigration lawyer based in Perth, Western Australia, where we're originally from. And yes, he does a lot of good work over there. So, the socks. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Enough about Eurovision. If I start, I'll be here for hours. So as I said, it was a sock make along that runs to the end of May and I am truly astounded that I have finished the pair of socks because I never thought I would. I thought I would really struggle because I have a fear of knitting socks or I did. So I jumped on board with this collaboration. These women were awesome. They raised some money for Red Cross for Ukraine and they encouraged us to buy patterns from Ukraine's sock designers and spread the love which I thought was awesome. So, I'll need my glasses because there is so much information. So the pattern I used was actually gifted to me for my birthday by Karen in Adelaide, South Australia. She gifted me the 60G sock pattern and I thought, wow, this is gonna be tough. That's why I thought I wouldn't get it finished by the end of May. It is by D19 Eco-Friendly Life. She has a Ravelry shop and an Etsy store and is a Ukraine designer. It was in my favourites list, wish list, and Karen bought it for me. And it is awesome. I loved it. Um, so that was the pattern I used. I actually did buy some pat um, patterns and gifted them to different people to encourage them to knit a pair of socks for, by a Ukraine designer. Uh, so the yarn I used. So the yarn I used, I explained in a previous video, I was going to use the Pantanal Patens Merino Ombre 4-ply and I had a 10 gram mini of um, yellow because the idea is you either use a pattern by a Ukraine designer or you knit it in the colours of the flag of Ukraine, which is yellow, blue and white. So I thought I would do the flag and then I got gifted the pattern, which is even better. But I was sort of talking about it and things said, you've got better yellow than that. And I said, no, I haven't. I don't buy yellow. He said, yes, you did. This is where I think he's not observant when he's out waiting for me yarn shopping. He said, you bought yellow when we're in Victoria. And, he, and I said to him, no, he goes, well, I'm going to look in your yarn stock. I reckon you have. So he goes on the deep dive in my yarn stock and lo and behold, I have exactly the same yarn in yellow that I bought in Victoria at Wangaratta Knitting Mills. It's called Merino 4-ply. It's 80% Merino, 20% nylon. They're 50 gram balls. It is lovely and soft. It is beautiful to work with. They don't have colour names, just colour numbers. But that's where I bought the yellow. So I had ta -da, these two colours. Um, needle size that I used what she said in the pattern, 2.5 and I cast on 64 stitches. And this I've decided at the end of this pattern is perfect sizing for me. My third pair, third time lucky. The first pair were big, the second pair was a bit smaller but this is perfect. 2.5, four ply, 64 stitches, awesome. Fits me great. 
Um, so, do you want to see my socks? They're not blocked. I only finished them yesterday. I have put them on sock blockers and there will be some photos at the end. So here we go. Ta-da! My socks. Ta-da! My Ukraine socks. I'll explain a bit because I did do something different. Now, one heel isn't as good as the other, but I don't know why, whether it's my tension. But I actually did the pattern. I'm amazed. So... I, new skills I learned. I learned to do a twisted rib for the cuff up here, which is awesome. I really enjoyed that. I wanted to do more and then thought, no, I'm sticking to the pattern. The only thing I did different to the pattern is I did try doing her, I think it must be a slip stitch heel, they call it. I'm not sure. I gave up after a day and decided I would stick to the shadow wrap heel by Earth Tones Girl because... I've done it before and I really like it and I'm confident with it. When I say I have a fear of knitting socks, I can get to there. But when it goes to doing the heel, I panic. I think I'm not going to do it right. I didn't change colour because I was too scared. I just kept going with the blue ombre. And then the toe, I don't find that hard. So I decided I changed colour. But I do like the pattern. And look. I think I enjoyed knitting these more than the first two because they weren't vanilla socks. I think I enjoyed doing the pattern and I probably would do another pattern pair of socks in the future because of that. I think knitting the vanilla pairs I just found boring even though I needed to learn the skills of knitting socks. I will explain a bit about the yarn because it's something I, I discovered for myself. Um, I think by stepping out of my comfort zone and having a go at this pattern and testing my knitting skills limit, I really improved and I think I would like to make another pair different pattern to keep improving because I think with each pair I'm getting better at it, especially my heels. They're definitely looking better. Um, the yarn. So when it comes to, this is called ombre, this is just plain. When I saw ombre, I just thought it would be like Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, which I really do like, but it wasn't. Um, it actually, I think I'll show you more on this one, because you can really see it. Can you see that? It's more stripes than ombre. It's striped quite a bit. I expected it to be more spread through it, but it wasn't. It sort of... I don't know if it's because I knitted socks, but it's quite stripy, which I'm glad I used it on the socks because I actually bought it for another project. And if it had done that in the other project, it would look a bit funny. Um, yes, have I told you I enjoyed knitting the socks? I definitely would buy more sock patterns from this designer. I found it was easy enough to follow. And the only reason I should, maybe one day I'll do a slip stitch heel, but I just wasn't confident and I kept getting confused. Um, that's about it. I, I, what can I say? Making the second one yesterday, I was listening to Car Carol King's tapestry, vinyl, um, tapestry album on vinyl. There is a song on there that makes me think of the people from Ukraine. You guys, you can do me a favour. There is actually a charity song. It was written by um, a musicians in the country of Georgia. I'll put a link to that. It's only about three and a half minutes long. If you listen to that, the money gets donated to charity for Ukraine, and that would be awesome. I'll put one of Carol King's songs on there that makes me think of these, the people who are over there. But yes... I have really enjoyed this sock along. So thank you to my Yarny Corner, Stitches and Jacks and Crafty Craig Clegg Creations. Awesome idea and really heartfelt when I did it. I just really enjoyed it. Now I gave away some sock patterns oh, over a month ago by Ukraine designers when I said I want to knock your socks off, come and join me. The crochet pattern was claimed by Michelle in New Zealand. So I hope she enjoys knit, uh, crocheting her socks and we get to see them soon. 
now the knitting pattern even though i said i wouldn't i emailed the person they haven't replied i don't think they're interested in having the pattern so this morning i went through the comments again and i with um i redrew for the knitting pattern prize so it's a ten dollar it's a let me explain ukraine designer sock pattern up to the value of ten dollars that the person can pick and the person's whose name came out i didn't film it i just did it when i realized it had still gone unclaimed and on here somewhere so the new winner for the knitting sock pattern is andrea jones i believe she's in the us andrea jones if you email me and let me know your contacts i will email you hopefully if it's still there a list of knitting sock patterns by ukraine designers that alex at my yarny put to, yarny corner put together on her ravelry list and you can pick one from there to the value of ten dollars just give me an email and we'll sort it out but i would like to see someone else knit a pair of socks by a ukraine designer all i can say is when i go on holidays in august to the uk i'll be wearing my ukraine socks and walking with ukraine guys thanks for stopping by and listening to me rabbit on um about knitting a pair of socks some people do it all the time you think i discovered gold no, i really did enjoy it and um, i hope you enjoyed the video stay safe stay well and make sure occasionally you spare a thought for the people in ukraine who are doing it tough bye for now mm -hmm.